Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I am Anna and today we're doing another fall look with I Need a Warm and we're gonna lean into the sneaky kind of hidden green tones within this palette in the bronzy shades because they're in there. They're just kind of subtle and a little bit hidden. They're more like a, a dual chrome with a bit of green in it type of thing and then some really nice kind of... So that's the colors I want to lean into today, namely the shade Hanker and dynamism right here, a little bit elm, and to really enhance the green tones that I wanted to pull out, those little hidden undertones and sneaky little sparkles in there, I went in with this eye pencil from Maybelline from their Tattoo Studio line, and this is the shade Fierce, and it's just a really, really deep olive green, and that as a base really allowed some of those green little sparkles to pop, and so that's what I did to create this look and decided to pair it with kind of a spicy little lip. So if that interests you, just go ahead and keep on watching. Before you do, don't forget to like and subscribe, turn your notification bell on, and let me know down below if there's any more fall looks you want to see some inspiration from me, especially if it is including I Need a Warm. All right, let's go ahead and just get into the makeup. Okay, so today we're going to be doing a nice little fall look here. I wanted to feature this little pencil feature this little pencil from Maybelline. This is one of their new color tattoo sticks and I have it in the shade Fierce, I believe. It's really hard to see because it's like super dark on black here. Yeah, I believe this is the shade Fierce. Gorgeous dark olive green with a bit of khaki in there. Like it's very, very dark, smoky green with a, you know, kind of golden sheen. A classic olive color, my kind of color. So I'm going to feature this and pair it up with I Need a Warm because there are some shades in here that have a green shift in them and kind of a bronze leaning into that kind of tone. Like uh, the shade right here, Dynamism, it has green sparkle within it and this shade is fairly uh, bronzy and I feel like they would complement each other. So. That's what I want to do today, is kind of tie that in. Yeah, I think the shades Hanker and Elm are gonna look perfect with this. Absolutely, that's what we're gonna do. I've already primed my eyes with the Urban Decay Primer Potion, and what we're gonna do is start with this pencil from Maybelline. And I've already done my foundation as well. I have on Smashbox Always On. Skin Balancing Foundation, and uh, yeah. So I'm going to start using this as my kind of base towards the lash line as liner. I'm going to blend it up and out. This outer corner has a really good color, by the way. And I'm going to take a Mm. I'm going to take this precious from the uh, Naked palette. This is the kind of smudgy packer brush and I'm going to use that to diffuse these edges. That seems to blend okay. You don't have a ton of playtime with this. So it does seem to set down. You can use your finger, of course, to blend these. I'm also gonna bring this on the lower lash line. We'll soften the edge out a little bit. All right, it's cool. Cool, cool, cool. Now, let's just take a fluffy brush, <laughs> and you will do, I'm gonna take the side of my Urban Decay brush, in fact. And we'll go with uh, a little bit of the shade called Vim, which is this one in the middle, dead center, right there. And run that through the socket. All right, and I'm gonna grab just a bit of mellow, just that nice peachy light color at the top. 
just here. We're going to use that around the edges just to make sure everything is looking blended. Okay. And now I'm going to take Hanker, which is our deep, deep kind of bronzy metallic right there. I'm going to put that onto the lid where we applied that pencil. See how they, they kind of merge together and make a really pretty color. I mean, Hanker is pretty on its own and the pencil is pretty, but they are a good pairing. Alright, I'm going to kind of blend that out a little bit and let Hanker be a little diffused. Alright, I'm going to take some of the Hanker on the lower lash line. And then we can blend that out with a touch of Vim. Okay, now on the outer corner I'm going to take Pep, which is the deepest shade in this palette, deepest brown. And just pat some right here on the outer corner. Just give some depth and some lift. Hanker is nice and intense. Right now, let's take some of Elm. It's a beautiful shade right here. And we'll put that on the inner corner. let it flow into Hanker. Then we can take a touch of Elm on our fluffy. And we can just do just a little kiss of it on that brow bone. Okay. Now I'm going to check for fallout situation. So I'm just running a Q-tip. Just right there. I think we're okay. And I'm going to take a small, little tiny brush here, take some of Elm right here on the inner part of the lower lash line. I'm going to grab some brown eyeliner, just for right the lashes. And outer corner. What if we took just a touch of dynamism, kind of on the center? Just a little bit, because it has that green shift in it, which I don't know if it's going to show on camera, but it does. And maybe pairing them together. Interesting. So Dynamism is this shade right here, and it is a dual chrome. It's just a very subtle kind of green to bronze dual chrome. It's not like the trichrome formula because it does have green flex. It ties in. It ties in. Okay. I'm going to do a little bit of liquid bronze. This is the Milani Contour Conceal and Perfect in Honey. I'm also using some new brushes from Real Techniques today. This is the 454 big old brush for like contour bronze and highlight multi-functioning brush and for my foundation I used the new big old stippling, st stippling brush the 260 which is huge gets the job done very quickly cannot complain about that okay and I'm gonna do a little liquid blush I'm gonna use the sun kisser blush in the shade city sizzle and I think I'm gonna apply it with the stippling brush on like that and work in there yeah pretty good now let's do some concealer do a little bit of Kosas concealer today oh yeah I know my hair looks goofy right now I just it's, I'm just got it up out of my face. <laughs> That's why it's like that. It's not staying that way. <laughs> okay, a little concealer brush. I'm 
Now, a little bit of powder. I'm going to set my under eyes with some of the CoverGirl Simply Ageless. Just pressing that in. T-zone. And on the rest of the face, I'm going to take Kosas Cloud Set Powder and another one of these gloriously massive brushes. This one is the 262. <laughs> Look how big it is. I love it. It's so, so wonderfully big. And we can just dust this around the rest of the face and get her set so quickly without over applying the product either. Really lovely brush. I'm gonna put a touch of this Laura Geller Baked Balance and Glow. I just want to dust a little bit of that on the face as well with this brush. Just bring a little glow in. Kind of treating it like a finishing powder almost. Alright, and then some of this Laura Geller Baked Blush. Baked and Brightened Blush in Sunswept. We're just going to do a very gentle amount of this because she's pigmented. And it is very glowy, so it kind of can function as your highlight, too. If you use these from Laura Geller, or are interested in these from Laura Geller, they are super glowy. So they double up pretty much as a highlight. They're glowier than the Milani ones, by far. At least Sunswept is. Just because more is more. I'm going to take a little bit of... This is from L'Oreal Infallible in Icy Gold. <laughs> Icy Gold. Same brush, I'm just going to kind of take it on the side and pat a little on. Let's do a little mascara and I'm going to touch up the brows and we'll be right back for finishing touches, which is mostly just the lips. I'll see you in just a second. Okay, we're back, just touch up brows and let's do some lips. Oh, and I put on some mascara. And let the hair loose from the bun. So for lips, I want to go in with a BH Cool Brown for lip liner. It's really pretty, nice, kind of mid-tonish, deep, warm brown lip liner. Very similar to Matte Cork, my kind of lip liner. <laughs> I love these kinds of these browny tones. We we know that it's not a shock, not a surprise. And for lipstick from Revlon Super Lustrous, I thought Extra Spicy would be the perfect shade for today. Hmm? Yeah, something kind of warm and browny and a little spicy. To go with the gumbo that I cooked yesterday that is a little spicy. <laughs> a little very spicy accidentally. I spilled a little cayenne pepper in there. <laughs> a little more than I meant to. Anyway, here is our look complete. I just I wanted to do something with that olive toned pencil and kind of lean into those odd little greens that are hidden in the I Need a Warm palette. Like they're sneaky, but they're in there and they're super subtle. And I thought, well, I bet I could pair that pencil with it and really pull out those tones and really lean into the more bronze side of the palette. And I think we accomplished that today. And I matched my shirt. <laughs> you know, I like to be matchy matchy. Let me know down below if you want to see some more looks with I Need a Nude. And if you have some uh, ideas for looks that you want to see this fall season, drop them in the comments and yeah. So yeah, that's all for today. Thanks for hanging out. I will see you in the next one. Stay safe. Bye now.